the sights and sounds, smells that they dealt with that day are things that haunt them even to this day. A Beaumont police sergeant describing the impact of the September 11th terrorist attack in New York on first responders. Investigators are trying to determine if there is any link between those attacks and the mental health of a man accused of Monday's mass shooting in Washington, D.C. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. And I'm Greg Kerr. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Investigators cannot confirm the suspects of the D.C. shooting was at ground zero to help rescue victims after the 911 attacks, although his father says he was. What is clear, according to those looking into his background, 34-year-old Aaron Alexis suffered from mental health problems that went untreated for many years. Law enforcement officers say Alexis shot and killed 12 and wounded several others Monday at the Washington Navy Yard. Officers returned fire and killed him. Now, KFDM's Leslie Rangel is investigating. She joins us to examine the impact of mental health issues that often go untreated. Leslie? Investigators are searching for a motive. They say Alexis was preoccupied with the September 11th attacks and may have worked near the World Trade Center when it was attacked. They say he often talked about how it disturbed him. Relatives and those looking for a motive say that might be among a number of mental health problems Alexis struggled with for years. A Beaumont police sergeant who helped first responders after 9-11 spoke with us about that life-changing event and its impact on mental health. In the process that we've come to learn so much about. Beaumont Police Sergeant Rob Flores is using his computer to take a closer look at the naval base shooting. Just like pow, pow, pow. He's trying to figure out why this man opened fire, according to investigators, and killed a dozen people. There is a link between every one of these massacres you're hearing about, and that is there's been a mental health issue. Relatives say Alexis suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder after they say he helped first responders following the 9-11 attacks. But investigators can't find any evidence. At this point, Alexis took part in rescue operations. Sergeant Flores was at ground zero to help after the attacks. And we also did a peer support and one-on-one -on -one for officers who were working 12-hour shifts at the uh, landfill uh, where they were sifting through all the debris. Work he says will leave lifelong scars among first responders. This is no excuse for what occurred, but if this man had a PTSD type diagnosis, I'm sure there were other illnesses that he was dealing with. There was comorbidities, not just PTSD, which is an anxiety disorder. While this suspected gunman's motive isn't clear, Flores says there's no doubt about the lack of resources to help people like him. How are we identifying people who have mental illnesses? How are we giving them the help that they need to prevent these type of, of very rare tragedies? But if they occur, one is too many. Sandy Hook, Aurora, Colorado, Fort Hood, Texas, and now Washington, D.C. What Rob Flores says is a cry for help. If you don't treat a physical illness like heart disease or cancer, then you're going to die. Okay? If you don't treat the, the problems with mental illness, then people are at risk of dying. More than likely, you're at risk of dying. Sergeant Flores says it's important to seek help if you believe you or a loved one might be suffering from a mental illness. Flores says he stays in touch with first responders who helped after the September 11th attacks. Reporting live in the studio, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News.